Start to turn on your ujjayi breathing. Creating the whisper with a gentle constriction at the back of the throat. And so even with that effort, there's enough softening that the breath can gradually expand the body a little bit more each round. And connect you to center as you breathe out. Next breath in. Once you hit the end of your inhale, see so if you can sip in a little bit more. And then hold the breath in. Tall spine, soft jaw. And when the pressure begins to build, slow exhale with control until you're empty. Couple rounds like that. Inhaling until full. And then maybe a room for a sip more. Hold your breath in, letting the energy build. But before you start to fight with that, you'll let it go with control until empty. No formal counts, just gradually growing your capacity for breath, expanding with the inhale. Holding for as long as comfortable is important because you don't want the breath to start to be a struggle. Physiologically, the exhale is a relaxation action. But you will stay consciously with it, even squeezing the last of the breath out. Once you complete the round, you're on one more full round.
couple of rounds of Uddiyana, option to come into Baddha Konasana, or simply change the cross of your legs if you're cross-legged. Three rounds, full breath in, strong exhale out the mouth like you're blowing out your candles. Hold your breath out, tuck your chin, pull belly to spine, and fly the diaphragm up. Pull the belly up into your rib cage while you're holding your breath out. When you need to breathe in, you'll relax the belly. We'll begin together, but then continue on your own pace. Inhale. Strong exhale. Uddiyana. When you need to breathe, relax belly. Take two more rounds. When your rounds are complete, continue with a regular ujjayi breath, a continuous breath. You can either sit upright or baddha konasanas might come into a gentle forward fold. Create just enough traction in the spine to feel the breath, feel the back of the body. Those of you in folded positions, let your head go a little bit more. Then engage down at your tailbone, low belly to pull your spine up. Let your head follow. Knee pile. Crossing right knee over left. If left leg wants to remain straight at this point in practice, that's fine. Otherwise, tuck your left heel in. Sides or tops of the feet down to the floor, knee stacked on knee. Yes. Cross-legged seat works fine if that's way too much pull on low back. Inhale to get tall. Exhale, twist. Twisting to your right. Left back of hand on the outside of right knee. Turning your palm up to roll your shoulder back. Right arm, right hand on the ground to help you be, get tall. But that shoulder is also relaxing back. Exhale, back to center, bow over your legs. Might be a simple neck release or it might be a full forward fold. Especially if you're coming further forward in the fold, activate down at your tail, your mula bandha. Reach your tail back, scoop your pelvic floor up, your low belly up. Press your feet down into the mat, spread your toes. Release your neck completely. Reach back through your tail to pull you back up as you breathe in. And change the cross of your legs. Twisting to your left. And I'm recommending right palm open to help you keep shoulder open. Gaze wherever neck is comfortable. At this point in practice, maybe keep the chin lined up over the center of chest so you can feel the spine continue to lengthen up from your two grounded sit bones.
Exhale, release. Bow over your legs. Keep your neck released as you pull yourself back up with your abdominals. Hands can help. And we'll come onto our backs for abdominal work. If you have something you can hold between your thighs for twisting abs, we'll start with ab mama. So either a rolled up blanket, a cushion, or a yoga block. Probably not a wood block, something soft. We'll start with feet on the floor. Holding roll between thighs. Hands interlace behind head and neck, cradling your head in your hands, elbows point to ceiling. Feet are active, lift and spread your toes, but keep the squares of the feet down. The inner outer mound, big toe mound, ball mound, excuse me, inner outer heel. Take a breath in. Hold your breath in. Press your low back flat down, little pressure of feet to help. Squeeze your prop. Exhale, curl your head and shoulders off the mat. Pull belly down. Now keep your head up, relax your belly. Take a huge breath in, watch belly rise. And breathe out, pull navel to spine, squeeze your prop. Inhale, head down. Exhale, relax the squeeze, relax your low back. Start again, take a breath. Hold it in, press your low back flat, squeeze your prop. Exhale, curl your head and shoulders up, pull belly to spine. Squeeze again, take a breath, fill belly, watch it rise. Exhale, pull belly in, squeeze prop, little tuck of tailbone up. Inhale, head down, tail down. Exhale, relax the squeeze. One more like that. Take a breath. Hold it in. Press low back flat, squeeze prop. Exhale, curl head and shoulders up by drawing belly to spine. Watch your belly balloon with your inhale breath. Exhale, draw navel to spine. Little tuck of tail, squeeze prop. Inhale, head down, tail down. Exhale, relax. Moving into twisting abs with a roll. Legs can stay as they are, feet on floor. Or you can pick feet off the floor. I'll let you choose, either knees bent or legs straight up to sky. Take a breath. Activate your feet. Press your low back flat. Squeeze your prop. Exhale, curl head and shoulders up. Inhale, exhale, draw navel to spine, squeeze prop, and twist both elbows towards left thigh. Little twist, both shoulders are off mat. Inhale, center, keep the head up for this whole series. Squeeze, roll, tuck tail, exhale, twist right. Again, inhale, center, lift your shoulders, press low back flat, squeeze your prop, Exhale, twist left, draw belly down. Inhale, center, squeeze, tuck, exhale, twist right. Soften your belly so you can pull it in. Inhale, center, flex your feet, pull the toes towards you, reach out through your heels, squeeze, prop, tuck tail, exhale, straight up to the ceiling, triceps up, shoulders up, head relaxed into your hands. Pull belly down. One more round. Press the balls of the feet back out. Squeeze, tuck, exhale, twist left. Squeeze again, tuck again, pull your belly down. Inhale, center. Squeeze, tuck, press low back flat, exhale, twist right. Squeeze a second time. Curl tailbone up a little bit more, draw navel to spine. Last piece, inhale, center, flex your feet, squeeze, tuck, 
Exhale, straight up to sky. Squeeze the prop again, curl the tailbone up some more, pull your belly down, and some of you will try to touch fingers to toes if your legs are straight without bringing the toes any closer, reach up for them. Inhale, head down, feet down, take your prop away. And take three breaths, flushing out your abdominals, soften completely. All right, put your prop back in place for abs with a roll or, ab oh, I'm sorry, not abs. Did that scare you? Bridge. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's scarier. So, all right, holding something between your thighs. Feet as wide as your knees are, so line those up. Now this might bring your feet a little closer than you usually do for bridge. If that hurts your knees, you might have to take the prop away. Please respect your knees. Otherwise, hug your prop. Press your feet down, curl pelvis up, inhale, exhale, press hips to sky. Sending your prop forward, not a big squeeze here, just not letting it drop in our thighs are engaged. Lengthen tailbone sacrum towards your prop. Stretch thighs forward. Use your breath to draw the rib cage up towards your face. Lifting heart. Exhale, feel all parts of your feet, except for your active toes, engaging with the earth to support your hips. Two more breaths. Bring your arms up overhead. Take a huge breath in, all the way up into your chest. Keep your belly in. Strong exhale breath. Hold your breath out, keep your arms up. Hold your prop as you roll the spine down real slow and smooth. If you need to breathe while you're coming down, that's fine. Feel your spine lengthening from inside and out as you come down one little piece of back at a time. Once you're down, take the roll away or the block away. Separate your feet a little bit wider. Rest the knees against each other. Put your hands on your hips. Guide your breath down into low belly, low back, and pelvis. Figure four. Separate your knees, pick up your flexed right foot, hook it over left thigh. Any variation of this hip opener. Foot, feet can stay on the floor or you can hug knee to chest. Choosing the movements or the shapes that invite breath. Sensation into right hip and low back. in a way that decompresses, creates space. So maybe each breath gets a, has a little more ease. Change legs. Happy baby. Bring the feet together over your face. Supta Baddha Konasana variation. If that pulls on low back too much, you'll stay in happy baby. If it's right for you to curl your head off the mat, tucking chin into chest, curling head towards feet, you can do that. Pulling belly in. 
and maybe it's right for you to do some rock and rolls from shoulder to tail. If you like, you can release the feet when you come up and do little squats, or little bodhikanasanas. If that rock and roll does not feel healing, it's a bumpy ride, you're on a hard floor, then stay on your back, find a nice squishy movement with active breath. All right, find your way to all fours. Dolphin or dolphin prep, come down onto your elbows, wrap hands around upper arms. Round one, either clasp the hands in front of you or you can start with the palms down directly in front of elbows. Press the ground away to lift out of shoulders. Make sure wrists are flat but relaxed. Hang your head, lifting out of the shoulders by pressing down, leaning back to stretch back. And then if it's right for you to tuck toes, straighten legs, move on your breath. Good to relax neck. Let's really exaggerate the lift here. Press firmly down with your forearms, going straight up out of your shoulders. Don't worry about going back for the moment. Make more space. Yes. Now, so you can keep that space lifting up and back. All right, and set your knees down. Sit on your heels for bird's wing. If kneeling's no good for your knees, find a different shape. So your spine can be straight. Turn your palms up, squeeze elbows into ribs. Inhale, fill upper back. Exhale, rotate the hands out as you hug the elbows in. Two more breaths like that. Inhale, expanding your upper back with your in-breath. Exhale, squeezing the breath out, squeezing arms in towards the shoulder blades. One more time, inhale, fill the back of the lungs. Exhale, squeeze. Relax arms. Round two might look exactly like round one or flash prep. I think you guys, I'm not sure if Martha, you know, flash prep, so I'll do a demo round. As soon as in Cynthia, you can watch or you can join me. I'll leave that up to you. Measuring your elbow distance is always setting up your train tracks. Now, if already your shoulders are tweaky by trying to keep hands and elbows right under shoulders in line with shoulders, you're not going to do flash prep. You'll stay here in dolphin prep. Pressing down, getting the lift out of shoulders. Flash prep, kind of like a one-arm dolphin prep. I'm sliding my left hand back on its train track, so it stays right in that line with shoulder until my palms on the earth in underneath my elbow, elbow up. Pressing ground away, stabilizing right shoulder by hugging elbow in, rotating triceps in. And then if it feels stable enough, then I can load some weight onto it. Cool. Do you want to try? All right. Come on down to your elbows. Wrap your hands around your upper arms. See where the elbows are. Line them there. Put your hands out in front of you. Good. Hang your head. Get that big lift out of the shoulders. Almost a hump back. And then watch your left hand slide back until your palms on the ground, your elbows pointing up directly above it. You might have to move your knees out of the way. Get that lift, the relaxed neck, and that might be enough for today. Or you can tuck your toes, breathe in. Exhale, use the power of your legs, your low abdominals, and your hips to help support the weight. Left hand is helping as much as it needs. You might be pressing firmly down as the left hand so you can work the rotation of the right elbow in. 
that will connect you to the bigger back muscles, the lats and the chest, and get you out of the shoulder muscles themselves. When you're ready to come down, take a moment to rest, knees on the mat, and then reset everything. Remeasure your elbows, reset your train tracks. Get a good lift out of the shoulders, fill that space with your breath, and then watch your right hand slide back down its train track until it's on the ground under right elbow. Neck is relaxed. Continue to lift, almost cat stretching spine. In fact, you can keep your knees down and work your cat stretch, and there's a lot of action right there. If, you can, if your shoulder feels stable, then you tuck toes, take a breath. Exhale, hips back. Keep hugging left elbow, left triceps in without clenching teeth. Anna Forrest created this pose as a rehab for one of her main assistants. You can come into embryo when you're complete. Who'd had a mastectomy and was told she'd never be able to bear weight on her arms again. So I think the end of the story is she did successfully rehab her chest, her lap muscles. So she was able to get back to an arm balance practice. All right, sit up on your heels or maybe stand on your knees. One more shoulder counter pose. Touch your thumbs together behind you. Elbows will bend. Roll the shoulders back, opening up through the collarbones without popping your front ribs out. Keep them in. From there, start to straighten your arms, feeling for keeping the head of the shoulder rolling back, chest open. Those of you whose arms straighten, can start to lift your hands behind you. Open the collarbone as you feel the head of the shoulder want to dip forward. Keep it open. Relax your arms. Come step to the front of your mat. Half sun salute. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Two more like that. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Remember, you can bend your knees as much as you like on the dive down and on the way up. Inhale. Exhale. Pressing feet into the ground. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, rise, exhale. One round Surya Namaskar B, Utkatasana. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, Chaturanga or any other modified vinyasa. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, warrior one. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing. 
left foot. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga, or step right into down dog. We'll meet you in just a breath. Inhale upward. Exhale downward. Down dog hip opener, right leg back, bend your right knee, turning hips open to the right. Reach back through your tail, continue to extend the spine straight back from your relaxed neck. Warrior two. Relax your arms down for unlocking the shoulders. Bring your right arm forward, bend your right elbow. Bring your left hand to your right shoulder blade. It's so right behind your armpit. You might have to stick your thumb in your armpit. Take a breath into right shoulder, shoulder socket. Exhale, send your elbow forward as you pull your shoulder blade down with your hand. Left hand to right biceps. Same rules as always. If you've ever had dislocation or you're working with injury, you're not going to pull on your shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Pull your right shoulder blade down as you slide your arm bone forward of shoulder. Left hand comes to right inner elbow. Take a breath into right shoulder, right upper back. Exhale, drag right shoulder down as you press elbow into hand, hand into elbow. Keep the elbow moving forward and up. Relax your arms. Straighten your right leg for triangle. Any expression. Two more breaths. Runner's lunge. Hands come down to frame the right foot. Spin onto the back toes. Right knee bends right over the right heel, no further than that. If your knee starts to come forward, then slide the left leg back more and firm up your left thigh, lifting it away from ground. Reach the tailbone straight back. Squeeze sitting bones towards tail. Scoop your low belly up. Breathe your chest forward, but keep your chin in. Long pyramid. Stretching your hips back. Straightening right leg just enough to find your hamstrings. Deep lunge, bend your right knee, bring both hands to the inside of right foot, set your back knee down. You won't be here too long, but if your elbows automatically come down, make sure your hips are leading the way. Back into your long pyramid. Come back to hands, hands to either side of right foot. Tuck back toes, straight-ish right leg. The long stance, left heel moving straight back to stretch the Achilles and calf. You can't see the heel. If that hurts your knee, you'll adjust your footprint. Lunge. Inhale, bend right knee, lower back knee down. Lift heart. Fingertips can stay on the earth or arms up.
Exhale, lower to your belly. Low Cobra. Keep your hips on the ground. Move your hands forward. Pull the mat toward you. Inhale your chest forward. Press pelvis and feet down. Scoop your low belly up. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale, pull your chest forward. Exhale, downward dog. Down dog hip opener, left leg up, bend left knee. And though your hips, your low spine are twisting to the left, keep everything in one line. Chest is square. Tail's not dropping behind you. It's going straight back. Stretching you out of shoulders. Warrior two. Unlocking the other shoulder. Left arm forward, bend left elbow. Right hand takes hold of left shoulder blade. And find your chicken wing. Be careful, there's nerves in there if you get a bzz feeling. Don't put your thumb on it. Take a breath. Feel the left shoulder, the left side of the upper back with your breath. And exhale, pull the shoulder blade down. Move your elbow forward and up. Take hold of the left biceps. Send your breath into your left shoulder socket. Exhale, pull your left shoulder blade down as you draw your arm bone forward from the shoulder joint. Make space. Right hand, palm to the inside of left elbow, offering some resistance for your elbow to press into. Send your breath into left shoulder. Exhale, send elbow forward into your hand as you pull shoulder down. Keep the hand in line with your elbow. And relax your arms. Uttita Trikonasana, any expression of triangle. Keep left shoulder relaxed, the blood draining through the whole left arm by grounding into your feet. Reach forward with left big toe. Press right outer heel into the ground, lifting right arch. Runner's lunge. Hands come down to frame the front foot. Square your hips off and firm them up. Feel left hip tucking under, right thigh rising. And from that firm center, you can send your right inner thigh back through your right ankle, your heart forward, lifting your belly. Long pyramid. Exhale, hamstring stretch. Hamstring injury, keep a bend in left knee. And I recommend actively pressing the ball of the foot into the floor, spreading toes, and tucking left sitting bone down. Deep lunge, inhale, bend left knee, both hands to the inside of left foot. Lower the back knee down, hips heavy. Slow your breath all the way down into hips, pelvis. The traction in the right hip, the compression of left hip. Soak it with breath. Long pyramid, back into your hamstring stretch.
Anjani Asana, knee down lunge. Bend your left knee back, knee down. Now your left knee might come forward of your toes if your hips keep dropping. And your knee's happy about that. Knee issues, adjust your footprint so your knee's not moving over away from ankle. Exhale, lower down to your belly. Cobra or low cobra, hands can stay by ribs, under shoulders or forward of shoulders. Either way, the action is the same. Pull the mat back as you draw your heart forward and fill your chest with your breath. Exhale, downward dog. Little vinyasa flow, dancing warrior variation. Send your right leg straight back. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Take a breath. Exhale, reverse warrior. We'll stay for two more breaths this first round. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Eagle warrior, right elbow on top of left. Eagle horse, spin your left heel in and bend both knees. Inhale, rise a little. Exhale, warrior two to left foot. Unwind the arms. Transition right foot and left foot. Bending left knee. Take a breath. Take your vinyasa. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, rise. Exhale, reverse. Inhale two, exhale, st extend. Take advantage of the slower flow to really flow your breath through the postures. Inhale, warrior two, exhale, eagle, left on right. Horse, spin your right heel in, bend both knees out directly over your toes. If your knees are knocking in, your arches are flat, turn the toes in a little bit and press the knees wider. Scoop your low belly up off your pelvis to lift your heart. Shoulders down the back. Exhale, warrior two, right foot. Unwind arms, make sure you transition left toes towards the right also, take a breath. Exhale, your vinyasa. Your vinyasa can include holding a plank if that feels centering to you. Or going straight to down dog. Now with flow, inhale right leg back. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, two. Eagle, right on left. Horse, exhale, sink it down. Inhale, little lift. 
Exhale, warrior two, left foot. Take a breath. Exhale, your vinyasa. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, two, eagle, left on right. Exhale, horse. Spin right heel in and sink down. Good. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two, right foot. Take a breath. Exhale, your vinyasa. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, two eagle horse, right on left. Exhale, bend both knees. Take a breath. Exhale, left foot. Breathe in. Exhale, your vinyasa. Inhale, left foot back. Exhale, two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Eagle horse. Inhale, left on top of right. Exhale. Inhale, warrior two, right foot. Take a breath. Exhale, your vinyasa. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Eagle horse. Inhale, right on left. Exhale, sink it down. Inhale. Exhale, left foot. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Eagle horse. Inhale, left on right. Exhale, sink it down. Take a breath. Exhale, right foot. Take a breath. Exhale. Slowing it down and adding on to the last round. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Eagle horse. Inhale, right on left. Pause. Breathe. Exhale, unwind your arms, hands to hips, straight legs, turn them in. Inhale, arms open. Exhale, interlace. Inhale, you can choose to stay upright or exhale, fold.
release hands to earth. I recommend bring them onto your pelvis and then slide them down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Lunge to left foot, back knee down. Inhale, lift heart, maybe arms. Exhale, your vinyasa. Left leg back, breathe in. Exhale, two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Eagle horse, left on right. Pause and breathe. Pretend to slide the feet away from each other a little bit on the mat. Exhale, unwind your arms, hands to hips, straight legs, turn the toes in. Inhale, open your arms. Exhale, opposite interlace, if you can figure that out. Inhale, lift heart, option to fold, exhale. Release your hands to the ground. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Lunge right foot. Inhale, lift heart, maybe arms. Exhale, your vinyasa. Take a few breaths in stillness, down dog or any other resting shape. Step or hop feet forward. Uchita, I'm sorry, Padangushtasana, separate your feet hips width. Take hold of big toes or just put your hands on the sides of your legs. Inhale, straight arms, heart forward, maybe look up. Exhale, draw yourself in. Using the shape to stabilize around your square hips, your low back. If your hamstrings are healthy, yes, then you get a hamstring stretch. If you lift your sit bones high. But for many of us, tucking tail, keeping knees soft, squeezing sit bones into tailbone. Inhale, look forward. Slide your hands underneath your feet. Padahastasan. Exhale, fold. Free your hands. Inhale to a flat back, hands to waist. You might bend your knees and tuck your tail a lot to stand up. Inhale, rise. Samastiti. Balancing sequence will be option standing pigeon, to option standing extending balance and twist, to option lotus. We'll start drawing right knee up to chest. Some of you will reach down for your flexed right foot. Let your knee drop open as you draw foot up to face. Or you can simply open right knee out to the right. S extended balancing twist. Left hand either comes over top of foot to hold the pinky side of right foot or put left hand on right knee. 
Either way, right knee turns back towards center as you twist to the right. Knee either stays bent or extends. So there's a sense of rotating the top of the right thigh in as you drop your right hip down. Mulaban. Lotus or tree, right heel to left hip or right foot anywhere on the inside of left leg. Just don't recommend pressing into the knee joint itself. Any arm variation, if you feel steady, you can interlace hands behind your back and even look up. Huge breath. Exhale, Samastitihi. Other leg, left knee to chest. If this is what this knee to chest looks like, that's fine. Then either rotate the knee out or flex your foot and bring it up to your face. To bring it up, you have to bring it forward first. Then there's room to bring it in. Mm-hmm. Balancing twist, right hand either takes the outside of the foot or takes the left knee, turning thigh into center as you turn your belly into that thigh. Left hand might reach behind you. And if you're feeling steady, you might look at your left thumbnail. Lotus or tree variations on this side. Go slow, so make sure your knee is happy with your choice. Huge breath. Exhale, Samastitihi. Utkatasana after vinyasa. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Or forward fold. You can skip this vinyasa. We'll be coming back to standing anyway. Inhale. Exhale. Utkatasana, down dogs. Jump your feet between your hands, bend your knees. Option, toes together, hands together. Any other Utkatasana is fine. Bakasana or Bakasana prep. Exhale, hands to the earth. Rise onto your toes to bring your knees up into your armpits. Or even come off your feet. Ooh, convenient if you have a couch right there. Find your way back into downward dog. Thread the needle, set your knees down. Thread right arm underneath left, coming down onto right shoulder. If you need to set your knees back or wider, that's fine. Left arm, any variation. I want you to get a stretch on the back of the right arm. So I suggest just letting your chest compress down into right shoulder if it's healthy. You can do that with your left arm down behind back. Just relax the left shoulder down. Left hand comes back by your face to press you up to cat stretch. Round your spine, hang your head, fill the back of your lungs with your breath. And find your way into second side.
Dolphin, one leg up. Bring your right hand down. Set up on both elbows. Maybe cat cow a few times, wiggle your hips. Now if your shoulders are cooked, you'll interlace hands, hang your head. And just get enough lift to flush your shoulders with breath, creating zero pain. If you're moving into your dolphin one leg up, any arm variation, and I recommend stepping the feet closer to your face together. So maybe your standing heel, your left heel can press down as you send right leg back. Hips square for this variation, reaching, reaching through your right foot as an extension of your spine. If there's a wall nearby, maybe back up so your toes can touch the wall and feel the support of that reach back. Yeah, not to bear weight, but as a kinesthetic awareness of how your strong leg can take the weight out of shoulders. I don't know why just touching one toe to the wall makes a difference, but it really does. All right, switch legs if you need to come down and reset between sides. Keep breathing. We're not in a hurry. Yeah, and one toenail on wall might be enough to just get that huge lift, like five pounds off the shoulders. All right, when you are satisfied with this, you come down onto your belly. Yogini's choice, Either boat with hands interlaced or bow holding your ankles. Either way, you're using this spinal extension as a shoulder opener. Reach your tail back, send your legs back, use your breath to lift your heart, your legs to draw your shoulders back. Even if you're not holding your feet, there's that sense of reaching your feet back and sending your knuckles to your feet. Exhale, come on down. All right, one more playful pose if you're up for it. I'll show you. And then if you decide you'd rather do child's pose and start to wind down, that's fine. Or have free play on your own, that's also fine. Your energy's up, might as well use it. Dorsal fin variations. It's a dolphin setting up as always. Hip opener. That's why I want you to keep your tail moving straight back and hip opener, not flopping, so you feel very stable. In case you want to ground, my right leg's up, so I'm going to ground down on right elbow and reach back with left hand if I want to try to feel for foot Whoop. while breathing. Only if your shoulders are happy. You'll go slow with breath and add one piece at a time, backing out if you start to move into pain. Cursing, shaking, and what the WTFs are fine, but no pain. All right. So if you are playing, come on down to elbows, measure your elbow distance, and set up your dolphin arms. If you're planning to keep both hands on the floor, you can clasp your hands. If you prefer to sink back in child's pose at this point and breathe and feel. Sometimes being in child's pose and sitting a pose out is even more intense than doing a pose. So that's something to breathe with. For me, it is at least. All right, if you're doing dorsal fin and your left leg's up, you bend your knee for hip opener, turning your hips without turning your shoulders. Then you might slide right hand back into a flash prep to see how left shoulder is doing before you decide to reach back for your foot. Those of you playing, reset for second side. 
Uh, if you want to play with other variations, like putting both feet on the wall or going upside down, you can play with that instead. About eight more breaths in play time. And you can have all the rest of the breaths in play time with me. Six more breaths. And when you're done playing embryo pose or lie on your back with your knees to your chest. Find your way onto your back. I am going to offer cat's tail twist. If you prefer any other spinal twist, that's also always fine. Cat's tail, talk you through it so you don't have to strain your neck. But I'll show it first if you want to see it. We'll start by shifting hips over to right side, picking feet up, crossing left ankle behind right so you can catch it with right hand, and then bringing right knee up and over into twist. Right hand, left foot behind you. Optional extension with the right leg. So if you're not already in cat's tail, but want to try to twist your way into it, start in the center of your mat, feet on the floor. Press your hips down to move your hips over to the right edge of your mat. Then lift your feet up, cross right on top of left, and then reach down with right hand to take left ankle, either side of ankle. Bring right knee into chest as you bring it over to the ground and pull the left foot behind you. Come out of the twist, you'll let go of the left foot. You might come into a fetal curve on left side and then roll back onto your back. If you're not doing cat's tail, find center and then move into second side. Cat's tails from center, scoot your hips over to left, pick your feet up, cross right behind left so you can catch right ankle and bring left knee over to the right. You can hold either side of ankle. You can experiment to see how that feels to shoulders. Those of you on the floor, I can't see. If you have questions, you'll just have to unmute yourself. Cat's tails, release your back foot. Maybe come into fetal curve on right side and roll onto your back. Both legs straight up to the sky. Let's let blood flow down into low back. If you want to turn this into stretches or plows, that's cool, but. And might not have to you might not have to add on to your experience. Just be here. You can move your toes, help the blood flow. If 
And as you're ready, feel your way into your resting pose. And as my teachers have said, the two minute Shavasana, not really a Shavasana. So if you want to stay where you are and complete your rest, continue to drop in, please do. If you're ready to bow out with me, you'll slowly deepen your breath. Invite movement back to the fingers and the toes. And I recommend easing off to one side to press yourself up to sitting. There's an easy way for you to rise. You flow with that. Those of us sitting, we'll bring our palms together, press thumbs into sternum to lift your heart, bow your head to your heart. In the silence, say one kind thing about yourself to yourself. As you raise your head with a soft smile, silently offer that compliment to the others. We bow to each other. Namaste.